Cody, do you mind if I, I share a tip on how to write really big premium? Definitely don't do that for sure. Right. Right, right. right, guys? No? No, please. That'd be awesome. So last week, I, I wrote one app for 14,300 something. I don't know. 14,300 something. I texted Cody about it right when I did it. Um, yeah. And it was going through the financial assessment. Because what I found out is he makes twenty five thousand dollars a month, and after the bills, he has fourteen. Uh, he has twenty thousand dollars left over after the bills. And, and this is what you say every time, no matter how big or how small it is. Oh, you got tw- you know you have five thousand left over after the bills. Um, where is that money going every month? Mm. And you're silent. Nine out of ten people say I have no idea. And then I ask him this one question. Hey, so. Would you mind if, if, if we, all we look at is only using 30% of what we have left over after we pay our bills to take care of this mortgage protection? Uh, well, now nah, it's a little, okay, well, so how about 20%? Would you be comfortable if we use 20% of what we have left over after we pay the bills? Would that be comfortable? Yeah, well, that'd be easy. Well, if they got $1,000 left over, or if they got $2,000 left over, they just said they want to give you $400 a month. How many of you have a 400 PPL? Yeah, probably, probably not many. Uh, and that's how you're going to uncover those bigger premiums because I'm not getting that. I'm going to think about it at the end of the appointment because what's there to think about? We already did all the thinking. I did all the thinking for you in the first 10 minutes of our appointment. Gold. Dude, gold. So good. Adam Lindsay says, oh, already yeah, we already touched on all the angry triple dialing. Um, Holden says, John Wetmore said, always triple dial, it's the way. Totally. True. David Smith said, rarely get a bad reaction, honestly. Yeah, true. Um, do you do all your appointments virtually, in person, or both? Yeah. Um, I switched to 100% virtual in September. Um, ever since September, I, I moved to 100% virtual. And I noticed in the beginning, uh, it was about maybe uh, at max of 5K AP, annual premium volume dip. Uh, But then I I learned how to correct that curve really quickly by leaning into mentors and really leaning into learning and figuring out what can I do to improve that. And very quickly, I wasn't seeing a difference between driving in person versus virtually for sales. And it made more sense to, to save money by being able to, to stay in my office here and um, do everything here. And then those numbers Cody shared from December to February, I was 100% virtual, all except one policy that was 2.3K. That's amazing. Who's already received value from today's call, by the way? Okay. And, and who thinks that they should leave Rising Star and never pay a measly 88 bucks a month ever again. Okay. Come on. I love it. This has been phenomenal. Um, Jovi says, where do you buy your leads or is it, or are they all through symmetry? I get all my leads uh, through my IMO. So all my leads do come from symmetry. What, what, what type of leads normally too, just to like talk through that. I mean, they can't get them if they're not with you, but just in general, no. what kind of leads? Um, the ones that I, I mainly work and, and now because my budget allows it, I only work brand new leads. Uh, it's very rare that I work age leads anymore, uh, which allows me to have a much, uh, greater return in terms of time back every month. I only typically have to produce 15 to 20 hours a month. Um, but direct mail is King. Uh, I, I haven't seen that change. And if that industry standard changes, then, uh, by all means, I'll go with it. But uh, direct mail, whether they're physically mailing it back, calling in, or, or going online off of that, that letter, um, that's the, the main type of, of lead I'm working is direct mail. Um, what dialer do you use? I think I probably know the answer to that. What do you think the answer is? I want to hear that one first. I think it's Ninja Dialer. You're close. We just moved away from that one. Um, I used to use it. Ninja dollar is great. I think that is available to any and everyone. Um, symmetry just acquired a third party company. Um, I think it used to be called set. So show sold. 
Um, and so that's what I'm using now. And it does a lot of, of texting, emailing, voicemail drops, um, and a, a lot of just auto booking without even texting clients, um, without me even talking to clients. So that's been a, a huge boost in show ratio and, um, just not having to dial as much. That's, that's terrible. I, I, I want to, I want to earn my appointments. I don't want to be given to me, Ashton. Come on. Hey, however you write 114 K, I don't care how you do it. That's, that's, that's for sure. This guy. Them first. Anthony's in the middle of the cell. Okay. Um, Anthony, pass the phone over. I got you. Come on now. Let's let's just do a live live demo right now. Um, can you can you walk us through your call? Oh, actually, I think you did a little bit. Uh, Robert Kent's wondering about your call script. Was there anything you? I mean, you you listed like the early pieces of it. Was there anything we missed or that you want to talk through? Um. Uh, the biggest, so this is the biggest thing. Cause we actually just filmed a podcast on this uh, a week or two ago. Um, the biggest portion of how to increase your show ratio, most agents sit 20 to 50%. Um, most weeks I don't fall below 80% show ratio. Um, and that's on virtual too. But virtual. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm hundred percent virtual now. I'm, I'm really only doing zoom, um, saves me a lot more time and I can help a lot more families. Because I'm here to help families. And if I can help more families virtually, as much as I love going out in person, well, then I have that greater opportunity to affect and influence more families and more legacies by being able to help more people. Um, but that show ratio to get them to show is asking them why. Why are we doing this? Because if you hang up the phone and you don't know why we have an appointment tomorrow, and when you go to bed and you go talk to your wife, Hey, we got an appointment tomorrow. Is that three o'clock? Well, what's it for? I don't know. Some mortgage thing. Why are we doing it? I don't know. So are we actually going to go? Yeah, good point. <laughs> They're not going to show. But if you go, hey, why are we doing that? And I asked them on the phone, hey, so when you sent this in, when you filled this out, when you called in, when you went online, who is it that you're looking to protect? Was it yourself, your spouse, co-borrower, both of you? Who are you looking to protect? Oh, well, I was looking to protect myself for, for my wife. Most people stop there. Go two levels deeper. Okay, and why is it you were looking for coverage on, on yourself for your wife? Well, I want to make sure that if something were to happen, that she'd have finances to take care of the home. Okay, so what you're saying is if something were to happen today, your wife wouldn't be able to afford that mortgage tomorrow and she wouldn't have a place to live. Uh, well, well, I guess when you put it like that, yeah. Oh, wow, so... It's, it's pretty important that we get this mortgage protection taken care of then. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Okay, well, it looks like I'm over here in uh, ABC County tomorrow at, uh, it looks like I have a three o'clock or a seven o'clock. Uh, and we're actually doing everything virtually. So I'm gonna just be able to send you a Zoom link. Um, which, which one's gonna be best for you and your wife to both be there? Seven, okay, great. I'm gonna put you in here. And now I'm, now I'm tying it down. I love that you went two, two layers deeper. Um... And it makes a lot of sense and it reminds them of why they're doing it. And they're saying it instead of you saying it, you know, like you're not telling them how important it is. They're telling you how important it is. That's really strong. Cause most people do stop. Um, we've all been in, in guilty of that. So yeah, that's so good. Hey, if you love what you just saw, okay. That is an exclusive private group called the rising stars mastermind that you have to be accepted. You have to apply and be accepted to be a part of. So we do a call like that every single Monday and I want you to be on it. It's exclusive, it's behind the scenes, it's private. And we interview a power player every single week just like that and they share their story and they drop some massive bombs. I'm talking, think about getting access to the top 50 people in the entire industry, okay? and you're getting access to them as a part of this group every single week. So there's a link below in the description to apply to be a part of the Rising Stars Mastermind. Now, when you become a rising star, okay, because you believe in yourself, the one, number one thing you need is information. I'm gonna give you the information and motivation, accountability, and the network every single week together. Now, in the Rising Stars Mastermind, yes, you get the weekly call, okay, the weekly coaching call. You also get access to my sales system for an entire year. You also get access to every course that I've ever made forever. You also get to spend a day here 
in Springfield, Missouri with me. You also get a workshop event in the next year here in Springfield, Missouri as well. Okay, this Rising Star Mastermind comes with more value than we've ever put in any product before. And I can tell you that if you want to get to the next level, you want to be on private coaching calls like you just saw with massive power players, they're going to get you the next level. Then stop what you're doing, click the link in the description, go apply, give us some information about you, and hopefully we'll see you on the other side. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. One of the things you just said that I loved was one thing I made a mistake on, like there's, there's being able to identify that and help agents with that right now, like there's a lot of agents that are making mistakes with that specifically. Um, and they are trying to play way above their means or you know, whatever. Um,